up you guys and happy vlogmas day number 15 I am on my way to this post office y'all and I'm hoping that I get there before they close because I'm not exactly for sure what time the post office closed but I got off work an hour early just so I could get there and then I had a phone call of course that kept me over and I told the girl I said look I've been on hold for 20 minutes waiting for this apartment to answer this phone. I said, I can't stay on the phone any longer. I said, so you're gonna have to call back. <laughs> then I do her dirty. <laughs> but I wasn't playing. I'm like, I got to get to this post office. I gotta get this package in the mail. It has to get to New Orleans. So I'm like, ain't got no time for nobody's foolishness and I gotta do it today. And then, <laughs> Since the Chick-fil-A was closed on Sunday and I didn't know that they was closed on Sunday because I wouldn't have wasted my time going all the way over there. But I'm going over there today to get me a spicy chicken sandwich and some fries. And this is the thing, you guys. This is how I think, for one, how I've been losing weight. <coughs> Not including today and yesterday. But I stopped. I really did stop going out to fast food restaurants like I have been. I stopped drinking sweet teas from McDonald's because y'all know I was addicted to them dang on sweet teas and I really do think that that's why I had so much weight on me is because I was just eating and drinking things that I shouldn't have been eating and drinking. So I had just went cold turkey and I had stopped. Y'all, McDonald's ain't seen me in a minute. I just kind of like fell off the last couple of days and I just figured okay this would be cheap for me because honestly it's been about two months since I like just kind of like quit now I did go to Chipotle like one or two times but religiously I was living either at McDonald's the pizza the pizza shop chicken whatever I was just doing a lot of eating out I cut all that out and not because I was trying to lose weight, I just did. But it just so happened to work and I said, shoot, I better quit doing what I've been doing. But the thing is, now all my clothes, they're like real baggy, which is okay. I don't really feel like I lost a lot, a lot of weight because I still have these two pair of jeans that I use as guide to like let me know if I'm losing weight or not. So it's a drastic change though because those jeans are like a size 12 and I actually went up like a whole dress size, like a 14. And now I feel like they're lying like junior size 13. What the heck? Don't tell me this today gonna post office with this line like this. What the? Oh, oh Lord Jesus. Oh. Come on out, come on out, come on out. Just, just, just come on out. <sighs> oh, Jesus, don't wait a minute, y'all. We are talking. Now, y'all, y'all know we all done seen them in every city, state, I don't care. You done seen somebody that wanna try to make a mockery out of the fact that we gotta wear masks, right? So this white guy just walked out the post office. You know, we all got our masks on, right? And I wasn't really paying much attention to him, but I did I did notice, like, what kind of mask do he got on? Because it's not really covering his face at all. And the more and more I kept staring at this man. <laughs> y'all, he took some woman's bra and cut it. Pretty like lace type material, and I 
thinking like, is this dude for real? Like, I know he not for real right now. <laughs> Y'all, I promise you, I done seen some crazy stuff. But that was crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I done seen it all. He had on a gray bra with the pretty lace on the side. The one booby cup just hanging. And I mean, it was just, just a hanging. Dude, like for real. And so we was in there laughing. But it wasn't laughing at him. And he kind of like turned around and looked like if we were laughing but my thing is at the end of the day no we weren't laughing at you but i think you want somebody to laugh at you because that is ridiculous what you have on your face and you know it and i'm like you might as well just not have worn a mask at all and i guess maybe that's the point he's trying to prove that it's just ridiculous to have on a mask period but i'm like at this point what you got on is definitely ridiculous because you're not even covering your face like literally he just had something that was just going over his face but it was all exposed underneath like you could literally just flapping the winds flapping the winds <laughs> oh my gosh but that is crazy you guys that was so funny if i would have had my camera with me y'all would have been able to see what was so funny up in there now that was a good laugh for the day it really was i needed that because that mess was crazy Anyhow, I'm about to take my behind on up to this Chick-fil-A, y'all, and let it do what it do, and I don't care if I'm sitting in this line for 30 minutes. I'm getting me a hot, spicy chicken sandwich today and some waffle fries, okay? And then I'm gonna take my behind back home, and, ooh, I'm gonna watch a movie on Prime. I think it's called Harriet, like the underground. I think that's what it's called. I don't know. I know when I get home, but yeah, that's what it's gonna be for me. I got this package mailed. It's gonna be four to five days. She told me before it make it to New Orleans, but I'm like, that's cool. So that's yeah, that's cool. Yeah, now this is what that line supposed to look like, y'all. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Can I get a spicy chicken sandwich with cheese, no t no pickles? Spicy chicken sandwich with cheese and is pepper jack okay on that? Uh, do you have just like plain American? Yeah. And do you want the meal or just the sandwich today? Let's go with the meal. All right. What do you have to drink? We have Coke products. Uh, lemonade, sweet tea, unsweet tea, milkshakes, frosted, lemonades, water, bottled water. Sprite? Yeah. Any sauce? Barbecue sauce. Okay. And can I have waffle fries? The waffle fries on the side. Yeah. Okay. What comes with a meal? Just waffle fries and a sandwich, right? Uh, a drink, waffle fries, and then whatever your entree was. Oh yeah, just that's it. That's All right. it. It's gonna be seven seventy one, please. Okay. I came up here yesterday trying to <laughs> give me a sandwich. I came up in here <laughs> with nobody in the line. I said, Oh shoot! I kept scooting in. I'm like something's wrong <laughs> what's going on up in here my fam was telling me too they said uh chick-fil-a ain't open on sundays i yeah. said lord jesus but that's okay <laughs> i understand we gotta go to church yeah have a great night you too thank you shakes look kind of good the dog i had a look shaking so long i really should have tried that 640 calories Oh no, I'm cool on this little soda I got with the 200 calories. Good lord. 640. What about my sandwich? Chick fil A chicken sandwich. Chick fil A spicy chicken sandwich. Okay, that's 580 calories. Okay, I'm within my calorie count today. Shoot. Alright, y'all. <laughs> Chick fil A. 
what is up you guys and happy friday i just got off work y'all see how quick that was i left one room and came into the next because <laughs> that's what we doing over here but i'm getting ready to take my hair down and i do not want to i'm kind of a little bummed out that i gotta take it down but if you look closely at my hair all of my braids are so loose that I feel like I can pull like the ones on the side. I can just literally pull them out. Because I've been using those hair growth products and my hair, it just keeps growing out and all my braids is loose. When I say my braids feel like I've had my hair like this for at least four weeks, loose braids. I mean, that's how loose they are. I mean, all the way through loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my locks out, but I'm not throwing them away. I'm just gonna pull them out because they don't even look like they've really been used because I've only had my hair like this. It will be two weeks tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is just pull them out. I'm gonna bag them and then I'm gonna use them again on another occasion. But I am super sad that I gotta take my hair down. Y'all thought I was looking kind of cute, but I'm just gonna do something simple. I was thinking about my time frame of when I gotta do my winter intro. So I'm just gonna do something really, really quick that I can take down or either maybe um, wear my hair like that into the new winter intro but anyways I was thinking about what I'm gonna do far as time frame goes and the quickest hairstyle that I can do that I can take down will be just like a quick little install so I'm gonna do that and then yeah maybe I'll get all this done today I don't know because I feel like I'm getting tired so I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled out I'm gonna go ahead and do my little wash routine and then I'll figure it out from there if I want to continue to do my hair or if I just want to kind of like braid it up tonight and then install tomorrow when I get off work in the morning so yeah we'll figure it out as we go but I miss you guys and we are gonna talk later alrighty you guys while I'm sitting up here waiting on this product to set for 30 minutes on my hair I wanted to share something with you guys that I got from a fam asked me for my address I thought she was gonna be sending me something in the mail but then I ended up forgetting all about it and I got this package in the mail yesterday and I was thinking the way it looked that it had to been like some makeup or something that I ordered and I just forgot about it because y'all know how the mail been taking all day to bring us all stuff <laughs> but anyhow when I opened it up and I wasn't even paying attention to what it said on the front part of it part of it either. I looked at the part where it said Kai Kerr, but then I'm like, hmm, what is that? And later on I looked down and it said Shauna Miss Tweet on there. And I said, Oh, definitely from a fan because nobody ever sends me anything with Miss Tweet on it in the mail. But it, she ended up sending me a Christmas card, and this is the first Christmas card that I have gotten this year. I normally get Christmas cards every year, but I ain't getting none this year. But this is my first one that I got. And it looks like this. So this is my Christmas card. It says, Miss Tweet Girl, wishing you the warm of home, love of family, and a season bright with cheer. Merry Christmas and a beautiful, happy, safe, and prosperous new year. A faithful follower. God bless, Kai. And then it says 1220 on there. But yep. That's the Christmas card that she sent me. And then she gifted me with this necklace. And I don't know, I already peeked it, y'all. I was getting ready to put it on my neck. But I decided, well, let me just go ahead and wait until I show you guys. And then I can put it on. And it just says on the box, fashion jewelry. And it is a silver necklace with an S on it, y'all. And, oops. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Uh-oh. I got it out just fine yesterday. Okay. I'm struggling. Okay. I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this or not. But it's an S-shaped necklace and it's silver. And my favorite jewelry to wear is silver because if I wear like fake gold, it ends up turning silver. So I've just decided... I'll just buy silver jewelry and just let that be that. I have very minimal gold pieces of jewelry, but this is like the only real jewelry that I have around my neck. My mom, she always buys me a necklace and a charm with it. And last year for my birthday, she brought me, I believe it was last year for my birthday, she bought me this um, 
and it's actually white gold. She bought me this necklace and it has a heart on it because y'all know hearts are my favorite. But I'm hoping that this one fits like a choker so that I can wear it with this necklace and then I'll have two necklaces on. But I'm going to put this on y'all. But thank you so much. She's one of my um, followers as well on Instagram and her name is something kind of wonderful and I guess the name is so fitting for her because that was just so sweet of you to send this to me you really did not have to do that and you guys if I give y'all my address or my phone number you don't have to send me anything although I don't give my number and my address out to everybody it's just basically followers that I know are genuine I know that they ain't some crazy people and that we literally either inbox talk or um, we've talked somewhere before but we've gotten to know each other. Those are the people that I have actually given my phone number out to and my address. Now, there's some genuine stalkers that I really do have. I don't know how they found out information about me, how to find my house, but I've had stalkers to show up at my house, but I've never had like a fam, nobody that I've ever given my phone number or address to did some crazy bull crap to me or showed up at my house unannounced or anything like that. It was nothing like that. It's just the people that don't know me that fish for my information are the ones that I seriously have to worry about but nonetheless it's like believe me you guys you don't ever have to send me anything I'm just grateful that you guys love and support me the way you do I really do appreciate that more than anything but yeah this is just so nice and I just love the fact that it got an S on it y'all but I'm definitely about to rock this all the way out. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I thought that was just so sweet of her to do that. And thank you again, Kai. And if I'm saying your name wrong, I do apologize because I butcher everybody's name. That's why everybody gets a nickname when they get to know me because I can't, I can't be doing no governments. But anyhow, you guys, let me get back on this head because I think I'm just going to push through it all and, and just do my hair tonight so that I can work on videos tomorrow. All right, you guys, I have all done with my hair. My bathroom looks a hot, raggedy, dang on mess. When I say, whenever I do my hair, y'all, I tears the place up. I really do. Tear the place up. And I'm gonna show y'all, because I ain't shame. I will clean up my mess, but dog, this is every single time I do my hair. And I actually did a leave out of my own hair this time, which I normally don't ever do no type of leave out on my hair but I did like the whole perimeter and my middle part so I got a lot of hair hanging out that belong to me this time on this $1.99 hair but yes y'all this is what it looks like I think what I'm gonna do is try to thin it out a little bit more tomorrow when I get off work but it'll do for now all I want to do right now is kind of like set my hair with a scarf so it'll lay down because you got to train your hair especially when you're used to keeping your hair tied up in different hairstyles all the time when you go to use your natural hair it's almost like you got to train it all over again so I'm gonna try to tie it up tonight so that it can stay laying flat for as long as I'm going to keep the style of my hair which will be a couple of weeks like I said unless I decide to roll with this for the intro but I highly doubt it I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take it down and try to whip up something else real quick for the intro but y'all this is what it be looking like and then the flow the floor was looking worse than this and I had other stuff in here but I took it out but yeah this is the end of this hairstyle that I'm rocking right now but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get my bathroom back tidy y'all and then I'm gonna call it a night this video will go up tomorrow when I get off work so no vlog today but y'all gonna know why so I will see y'all fam on another boring vlogmas quarantine video real soon love you guys <laughs>